Hello there everyone, it's me, Dark Sage Walker, with another level preview. This one I've been working on for a while, between between lots of lots of time spent at work, between putting a lot of effort into Monster Hunter, and then just the overall audacity of extra credits and how I've how I'm working on making fun of them. And I've already made one video, but you know, there's other things in the works, and maybe not necessarily more videos, but definitely more time spent making fun of some of their some of their worst takes. I just I've been slowly working on building up a Mario Maker course, and the reason why it's taken so long to build is mostly because it's a lot of fine detail that I needed to put together. But you've waited long enough, so let's let's have a look at it. Oh, I've got more Maker points. Sweet. So, here it is. Mystery of the Sunken Ruins. Now, I'm not going to go over necessarily everything about this course, but I do want to talk about the conception of it. Go Tutorial Girl! So, the idea is that I wanted to create a course that was, theme that was themed around this jungle idea. But as as I started building it, it slowly turned into essentially discovering the mystery of the mystery of this under this underwater ruin. Now I'm going to show you a few things, but the idea of it is it was supposed of oh, rather the idea of what it was became essentially exploring this large underwater expanse and seeing what there was to find. So, I put a lot of time on the clock in order to facilitate exploration. I want I want people to have a look around, I want them to find things. There's a good number of things to look for in this level. But another thing that I wanted that I wanted to focus on for this level was the theme of thwomps and the theme of precision. And I'll show you uh, one su one such location. It'll be one of the harder locations, but I have made decent use of checkpoint flags, to which I will offer a hint. Try to at least get a couple of the coins from the underwater section before using the first checkpoint flag. Now, I've recently been told that it's possible that when you use the checkpoint flag, your coins get taken from you if you've already earned them. Which, you know, is a pain in the ass as a creator, but there's not much I can do about that. That's that's something that has to be done on Nintendo. There we go. But yes, it's also very possible that mistakes will be made. I wanted to try to design the level in such a way that making a mistake wouldn't be detrimental to your progress. But that doesn't change. Oops. But it doesn't change the idea that the level is designed to be maybe not super difficult, but challenging. This particular one, I get the feeling, will receive some blowback because of the idea that it's a little harder than some of my other levels. That was my bad. I just want to show you to the end of this section. Oh, looks looks like it's saving my coins just fine. So I guess what happens is if you get the if you get the key and oops, oh that's a new way to die. Good on me. So I guess what happens is if you get the key and then die after the checkpoint, then it takes the key away. Okay, well that's something that that definitely needs to be addressed in an update. But uh, I screwed up. Yeah, let me focus on the TV instead of my recording. Obviously, I had to do this a few times in order to even upload, upload the level. Oops. Again, oops. I'm finding all sorts of ways to die on this section. It's funny, because I just finished this and got through this section just fine when I was... When I was in the up upload the course phase, but now I'm now that I'm trying to do it while talking, now all of a sudden it's impossible. Oops. 
mostly I'm just I'm just goofing up, but yeah, twice there. But you can see the sort of the sort of precision that goes into certain sections of this level. So I will indeed leave a, leave a lot of the level unexplored because I want some, I want you to have a look at this level and see things for yourself. Oh, I would have made it too if I had you know not been an idiot. I swear I cleared this level. I had to clear it three friggin' times to upload it. Almost. There we go. I don't know why that was so difficult. And back to the pipe. So, that is... Um, that is all I have to say about Mystery of the Sunken Ruins. If you want to try it out for yourself, the course ID is YDJHJFP6G. Thank you very much for checking out my latest course overview. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel to see more in the future. Drop a like and leave a comment, but the best thing you can do with this video is share it with a friend. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I'll be...